Hey fellow reefers, March here, Fragbox TV. Check out all these pods here in this bottle. Today I want to talk to you about adding live pods to your saltwater reef tank. Shit, what is going on here? Look at these connies. They're usually open and happy and way, way more extended than that. So. What does this tell me? One, it could just be that these three hermits here that are having an orgy are just screwing them up and maybe they just like trampled over them. If I don't see them open in about an hour, hour and a half, I'm gonna look at salinity and then I'm gonna look at more importantly, magnesium. Magnesium, very important for gonipores, very important for LPS corals. So that is my getting sidetracked of the day. I'll try not to do it again. I wanna to talk to you today about pods. These live pods here. So we have them from Reef Nutrition, two types the tigger pods and the apex pods. So why might you wanna add pods to your reef tank? Okay, so adding pods to your tank, they're very important. They're one of the smallest um, levels of the food chain that are in the tank. And if you wanna keep a mandarin or seahorse or pipefish, these things are uh, essential. They propagate very easily. So each female can produce thousands and thousands of eggs. Usually we recommend one bottle for every about 30 gallons. And I've tried lots of different brands over the years. I really like these ones from Reef Nutrition. They're high quality and I think they have the most per bottle. So you can see here in this Tigger one, they guarantee, I think it's like 3000 um, pods per bottle. And you're gonna wanna group it. If you wanna breed them, you need their live phyto as well. But if you add them to the tank, they're gonna just start repopulating. So when you get them, if you do order them, I'm just gonna give you a little bit of info how you add them to your tank. So you wanna add them the same day. They're gonna show up cold because we do store them in the fridge. Um, sometimes you'll even see the bottles open if you buy them from the store. That's just so they can breathe. And it's very normal that they're cold. So you wanna leave them out for about two hours in room temperature just to acclimatize. Or you can even float them in your tank, you know, for a half an hour or an hour. Um, we do recommend adding them at night so that way it just gives the pods a chance to hide within the rock work. They're not going to get consumed right away. So turn off your wave makers. Shout out Nero 5s, what up? But yeah, turn off your wave makers, turn off your skimmer, turn off your return pump. Just let the water sit still for about half an hour and then pour them in and that's going to give them just a chance to hide in the rock so they can begin breeding and populating your tank. Some of them naturally, sorry, some of them naturally are gonna stick to the outside of this plastic bottle that they come in. So just take the, the bottle once it's empty and then scoop up some of your salt water and pour it out one more time just so that you get every last pod out of the bottle. It's very common for our customers to pour these into their refugiums. That way they have lots of time to hide, nothing's gonna eat them. And then they become sort of a constant food source for your tank. Some of them will naturally just come off of your uh, macroalgae and find their way into the tank. So they're constantly providing the tank with a new food source. So most fish will eat these, uh, corals, SPS, LPS. The only difference between the two is the size. The apex pods are quite a bit smaller. You get more in every bottle, but they're both great. When people ask us which one to buy, we usually say just go with both because you get that added biodiversity of getting both the species. And they're quite easy to culture. If you want to set up a little tank, go to the Reef Nutrition website. These guys are cool. Like they sell the product, but they give you all the steps to culture your own pods at home. If, you, if that's something you want to do, you just need their live phyto because that'll be the food source for these ones to keep them going. But I think it's pretty neat that they're not, that they share all their trade secrets on how to do this at home, but awesome products all around. I really, really like this company. We use it on our own tank, you know. So I think that's it for today's video. As always, I'll leave our contact info at the end. If you guys got any questions about apex pods, reef tanks, or really, really cute clownfish, yeah, I'm gonna leave you with this today. You guys can always hit us up. This guy recently started hosting this nice purple torch here out of the blue. I'm not sure why he wasn't hosting it for a couple of months. And then he decided, you know what? I'm going to sign a lease. I'm going to live here. This is a beautiful Onyx Picasso and that is his new home. Yeah. Thanks for watching guys and happy reefing.